first off, I want to highly recommend The Amazing Atheist's most recent, well, as of making this video, a video entitled Bernie Sanders is Not a Moron. I highly, highly, highly recommend that video. It is some of the best explanations, some of the best compiling of evidence proof statistics backing up his his viewpoint that I've seen and it shows a naked ape as being the moron that he can be so and I'm sorry I, I, I kind of view uh, uh, you know I'll, I'll try to debate with people uh, uh, as as best as I can, but I find the viewpoints from right-wing LGBT, just like I view uh, people who, LGBT who stick to an Abrahamic religion, I just find it moronic. It's, it's just, you know, why would you do that to yourself? Um, it's like, um, uh, yes, support a political position that goes against your existence. That's, that's, that's just great stuff there. I don't understand it. It's just, it's, it's, you know, and you can argue, well, it's not technically, it's not really, uh, uh, against, uh, uh, gay People. No, no, it just means that, you know, everyone is free to discriminate against them uh, without problems and, uh, uh, I don't know. Again, as I've, I've said in the past, if, if someone wants to gut all the Civil Rights Acts since 1964, uh, uh, yeah, at least be upfront and honest about it, and then we can have a, a discussion about, you know, the values of, you know, our... our the Civil Rights Act is something that we should keep. I think there's something that we should and we can, can, should continue updating things as time goes on to put more groups into those things so they're not going to be discriminated against either. And yes, that's that takes a lot of uh, effort and time and it takes some money to do, to achieve. But I still think it's it's worth doing. It is always going. It, it is going to continually change. That sort of landscape is always going to continually change. But we keep up with it. Now, people can argue that that's not worth it, and you know what? That's a that's a valid argument. You can say that 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 doesn't work, and you can give the reasons for it, and then, you know, as long as you're not going into this bullshit context of, well, you don't, you know, no, no, you're not trying to get rid of the Civil Rights Acts. Well, when your arguments require, in order for your viewpoints to be in place, you would have to get those things and replace them. You know, you'd have to replace them with something else. You'd have to have something overriding those for a completely different set of values. You know, those things completely get in the way of your plan, of what you're saying you want. So, Anyway, you know, be upfront and honest about what you 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 actually support as far as that goes. If you want to get rid of the, those civil rights acts, then say so. So anyway, um, there was a conversation that I had with someone who doesn't want me to mention his name because he says that if I mention his name, then it will make it sound like. Um, I, it, like I will be degrading my own uh, intelligence or whatever, and I'm like, well, no. Um, uh, someone, I mean, it, it wasn't, it's one of those things where what someone talks about or questions you about makes you think about something else. It's related, but it makes you think about something else, and you've, you've, a, a different twist on an entire scenario gets brought up, and 
I came to realize that a word that I have, have been using since 2010 because I thought it was not taken already was culturalism. And because back in 2010, when I looked that word up, there wasn't anything that came up. Now there's a bunch of stuff that comes up. I don't know why they didn't come up before. Maybe I, maybe I was high. I don't know. But I remember looking it up and remember not seeing anything. There were a couple, there, I think there were a couple references and they were people asking kind of similar questions. You know, well, is this a word? So, anyway, the word is already taken. You know, I was saying it to mean something where someone who has a problem with a a particular culture or a particular set of cultures and you know I thought well you've got racism you've got sexism so culturalism well no culturalism is is, is a belief that uh, culture is important essentially that's that's to, to, to really boil it down to its basics it's it's the, the feeling that culture is important that's not uh, that's not what I uh, was meaning it to be. So I was very, very wrong about the uh, about that word. And so I've had to you know figure out something else. And that person and I were discussing you know words, what what could some of those words be? And uh, he had said something like just plain specophobia. I'm like, well, no, no, that would that would just be that would be a fear of anything specific if if that was a thing and maybe that's already taken too or whatever so and I was thinking well xenospecophobia so it would be it would be like xenophobia but only towards specific cultures so xenospecophobia now I'm hoping that isn't already taken somehow I don't know but uh, <laughs> but I just think there needs to be something to describe uh the, the the fear of or hatred of or dislike of um, specific cultures or the feeling like someone is above specific cultures you know they're, they're, it's because xenophobia is just basically that's a fear of any culture but your own and there's plenty of people who who don't have a fear of a number of cultures, they just have a fear of, of, or hatred of, or whatever, of specific cultures. So shouldn't there be a word to match that sort of thing? Uh, you know? It, it makes it makes things a little more precise, I would say. Um, that's, that's how I feel about words like racism. You know, racism is a general term if there's a specific type of racism, and it's very important and, and pressing, then you mention, you, you put a word in front of or after racism, uh, usually in front of, to signify a specific type of racism. You know, I, but our, our language is so weird. You know, if you ha we have words that have a phobia at the end of them, like arachnophobia, and it means an irrational fear of spiders. Now, if someone... And, and someone could say, well, that also means that they hate spiders. And I'm like, well, yes, but if you have a hatred of spiders but don't have a fear of spiders, like, you could just be someone that... Uh, you'll be aggressive towards them, and any time you see a spider, you have to kill it, right? It, it, that's not something an arachnophobic person would do. They, they're going to be like, oh, no. You know, they're not going to be, let's get close to it and squish it, you know. So I guess, what, what would that be called? What, what uh, uh, someone who, who hates spiders and thinks they should all die, <laughs> you know. Um, but uh, then you have uh, agoraphobia, a fear of open spaces. Um, there's a number of phobias out there. I, I think there's even one to describe the fear of clowns, right? 
but now we have homophobia. Well, that's not a that's not an irrational fear of gay people. Someone some could 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 pos could uh, uh, shove forth, and I've wondered this at times too. I think I've discussed it in some videos in the past, whether or not it could be the fear that you might have some homosexuality within you, right? But it's that's not that's 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 a real that's a real stretch. It is that's a real stretch. So it's it's kind of meaning a a dislike of gay people, a dislike of um, gay politics, I suppose. Um, it, it could be uh, someone who doesn't think gay people should have any rights. Because uh, someone can argue that, well, they may not think that someone should have any certain uh, kinds of rights, but uh, they don't hate them. And it's just like, well, that's that's a real that's kind of a stretch. But you know, if people want to continually make that stretch, then let's be more specific in the language, so they can't make that stretch. So, and I guess that's another thing that that's so frustrating about when when lang when words get changed or we people want to use alternate definitions of words like you know race with with racism and the sociology definition um instead of being more specific as a way to you know being more specific in your wording as a way of combating an argument made against you you just keep telling the person well no that word really means this and i don't care what it actually says in the dictionary Anyway, sorry. <laughs> I just, uh, you, you, you know, be more specific as a method of taking care of people, uh, making uh, bullshit connections and bullshit arguments. Anyway, um, and then there's, uh, uh transphobia. Is it an actual fear of trans people? It's it's kind of a similar thing as as uh, the word uh, homophobia. You know, it sh it changes what the phobia means. It changes what that word means. Um, I think that we should have chosen other words. I think I, I think that would have been a much better idea. We're stuck with these these words. We're stuck with it. English is a mess. English is a messed up language. But. Uh, then you got, you know, ism, isms, you know, racism, sexism, theism, feminism, totalitarianism, an ism being after a, uh, as the a suffix to a word, it's going to have a different meaning based on the word. That's not very, uh, that's not very consistent. I kind of wish our language was a little, was ordered a little more like German. German sounds terrible. <laughs> Sorry, if you think German sounds great, hey, you know, it, it to me it, it sounds very cold and and just <laughs> it's just it's 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 not pretty, it's not a pretty sounding language, but um, but what it does have is consistency, and um, the way that a, that new words generally get created is by putting two words together. So it's basically creating compound words. And we don't really seem to have that ability in our language. So ours just keeps getting more and more fragmented. Um, I understand that it also makes... It makes our language more fluid and it allows more ability for our language to change. 
and there are advantages to that because as time goes on there might there may be some things that are necessary to modify the meaning of a word to match the way that society has changed so i i do understand that sort of thing um so there are advantages but to me for the most part uh, there are a lot of disadvantages and man and spelling too oh my god I feel sorry for anyone trying to learn English as a second language or you know anything beyond being a first language you know um, rough it's rough I wish we could I, I wish there was some push taking into consideration just just uh, just do massive study of language and how easy it is to pronounce things you know what are the what are the easiest consonants easiest vowels to say and remember uh, you know how quickly do people generally order things when it comes to sounds do just tons of research on that and base the most common words off the things that are the easiest to say and try to build a language based off of that you know the most important and common things to say uh, should be the easiest to say um, and when I say common I'm not meaning things related to technology or things that are uh, specific to a society at a particular moment in time. I just mean something that's just based on humanity. What are the, the, the basic things that we need to be able to say? Have those be the, the easiest to say? And, uh, you know, just kind of base things on that. Have a... have. A really solid concept before you start to to create the language and please not not the uh, putting genders on items on things on objects no please let's not gender objects um, you know I think I think Spanish is a great language but the whole gendering objects thing oh please so stupid it's just so stupid it's one thing i'm really glad about about english is that we don't gen put a gender attach a gender to an object that's just stupid i'm sorry um i mean i could see some sort of a, a word that it's optional to add a masculine or feminine connotation but not make that object an actual gender you know what I mean I just because some things you can look at and something can just seem like you know, an object that can seem more feminine or seem more masculine right and so I can understand doing that as an option not as being necessary just to state uh, what the object is so and I think building, uh, making sure that uh, for humans and things that do have genders, um, that there should be a word to describe something uh, that's not uh, within the gender binary, you know, but one, just one. You know, male, female, and uh, neither, right? But just some sort of language that, you know, the the goal is consistency. And I'm sure that that's been what's happened with other languages in the past. And you know what? Eventually, whatever this language that gets created would become... 
scattered as well. I mean, a language sort of gets like a really, really fragmented hard drive, right? So, and you can't really run a D, there's no way to, a, a fragmented hard drive that it's impossible to defragment. So, you know, any language will eventually get kind of fragmented or or be something that's unpleasant to use because the way that, that the things that might keep it from becoming fragmented uh, make it less uh, less what's the word? It's a simple word. Here we go. Uh, efficient to use. So But I'll say again, uh, I highly recommend uh, TJ's video, his, his, his latest video, or latest from the time of making this video. Um, actually uh, brought uh, a little, some, some tears to my eyes a bit. Because it's like, wow, this, he, it, it's so awesome to see someone with his type of influence really stating things that can uh, it's it's all about really trying to make this a better place it's not just about complaining about about those who are misguided but are trying to make the world a better place so I'm just so glad to see it but uh <laughs> The uh, that word does 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 that seem to make sense? Uh, Xenospecophobia. Be specific. Be be specific. Uh, 